Hey, this is Bill from Molten Voltage, and I'm here today to show you how to set up the ZVEC Super Seek series of pedals to work with a MIDI controller. There's three different pedals. The Super Seek Wah is this one. There's also a Super Seek Trem and a Super Ringtone. Basically, there's step sequencers where you can set the amount of wah for each of those steps, and it'll cycle through them. A basic version of this pedal has been around for quite a while, but this Super Seek one is programmable and it brings a whole new level of functionality to it. And my favorite thing about it is that you can set the tempo of this pedal to sync up to MIDI clock. What this means is that you can sync this pedal to your other pedals on your pedal board that sync to MIDI clock, and now there's well over 50 of them. If you want to see the full list of pedals that can sync to MIDI clock, head over to our Molten Voltage website and click on the master control. Setting up the Super Sequa to work with a MIDI controller is simple. You really don't have to do any sort of setting up on the pedal itself. Just take a regular MIDI cable and plug it in the MIDI out of your MIDI controller and put it in the MIDI in of the Super Sequa. Now as soon as you start the MIDI clock flowing, you'll see the sequence will start. You'll see right now it's set to sync up on a quarter note. And of course, you tap in a tempo here. You'll see it synchronized to the clock coming off our master control here. Right now, we have it set to 16 step sequence. So it goes through every single one of these little pots where you can set the amount of wah. If you want to change the number of steps that it goes through, it's really easy. You just rotate this knob, and right now it's at four steps. So it just keeps cycling through those same four steps. Or you can make it eight steps. or back to the full 16. What else is cool about this, when the MIDI clock is coming in, right now it's set to sync up to quarter notes. So every time it pulses, which would be equal to the time between your taps, you'll see it goes to the next step. But turning this knob here, you can select all the way from whole notes down to 30 second notes. You'll see as I turn this knob, the LEDs light up to indicate which of the settings you're on. One LED is whole note, so that means it has to flash four times before it'll step to the next sequence. At the other end of the spectrum is 30 second notes. Basically, it goes through each set of eight every quarter note. A quarter note is the three LEDs right here. Personally, I think uh, eighth notes are really useful for this kind of effect. So when you're ready to play, you just tap in a tempo. Now another cool feature is if you use this tap hold button, it will send it back to the first step of the sequence each time you press it. So you can reset while you're playing and kind of stutter the song or just use, you know, part of the groove. Now if you hold down these two buttons on the outside, the tap divide button and the steps button, you can change the function of this tap hold pedal. Each time you press the two buttons, it cycles through the three. The other one that I find really useful when you're controlling it with MIDI is hold, which means when you press this button and you're holding it, it'll freeze on whatever step it's on. Then when you release it, it'll pick up where it left off. Now you also notice that each time you start MIDI clock, when a MIDI start message is sent to the Super Seek pedal, it'll reset to the first step of the sequence as well. So anyway, that's how you set up the ZVEC Super Seek series of pedals to work with a MIDI controller. Stay tuned because we have a bunch of other similar videos explaining how to set up different pedals to work with MIDI. If you're interested in this sort of thing, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions at all, you can always get a hold of us over at moltenvoltage.com. Thanks a lot.